Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Tech, and in today's video we have a brand new update for all Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So let's dive in and see exactly what is new. Now this update applies specifically to the clock application and provides an extremely useful feature for everybody to use. So let's first grab the update and then I'm going to show you guys exactly what is new. This is going to be the old version. This is going to be the new version. I want to show you exactly what has changed. So first and foremost, to get the update, click the link down below. Once you click the link, you're going to be at my website. Scroll down until you see download and then click the link right here. It is going to take you to the Galaxy Store from where you can update the clock application. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see it has listed exactly what is new, but it's hard to understand. So I'm going to demonstrate. It is very useful feature. And I do want to let you know the version is 12.2.05.19 and it's going to be a 25 megabyte update. So let's open the clock application here, the newest version, and this is just a recent version. So I'm going to launch this. Okay, so the update is under timer. So as you know, you can have multiple timers running at the same time, which is what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to start one timer. I'm going to tap on plus. I'm going to start another timer. I'm going to tap on plus and I'm going to start another timer. Okay, so now we have three timers running at the same time and we can do the same thing on the old version, but there's something brand new over here that's amazing. So let's uh, do another one here, number two and number three. Okay, start. Now we have three timers on both of these phones. Now look at this. When I go to the home screen, what I get is I get this guy. This is a little pop-up window that gives you live timer status. And if you don't touch it, it becomes smaller as you can see. If I tap it, it gets bigger, then I can tap this again, goes into that timer. Now if I were to swipe over to the other timer, the second timer, and if I exit, you can see we're gonna see the second timer running right here. Now that is a bit of a pain in the ass, so here's what they did. Now we have three timers. When I exit and I get this window, look at the difference. This is bigger, okay? And also there's arrows here that you can use to toggle between different timers. Absolutely fantastic, all right? So that's one of the big differences with this latest update. It's larger, the fonts are a little bit better, and you are able to switch between timers. And then you can see, we looked at the first one and the second one, the improved widget, font style and background color, ability to move between the mini timers. And then we have this one, tapping the timer and notification pop up opens that timer. So again, if you're running multiple timers and you get a notification, when you click on notification, it actually takes you to the one that just ended as opposed to on the old version where it might just default to the first one you started, okay? So they have cleaned up that mess and that's the update. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.